Hi folks, Brian here, quantlabs.net. Okay, so I'm going to talk about uh, quants, what's going on in the banking industry. It's from, uh, I believe, financial careers. Um, first, I wanted to mention, of course, our sponsor, me, because I'm important. Uh, if you are interested in any of this sort of stuff, what I do is <coughs> I have um, a, uh, a series of books you can get online at quantlabs.net. Uh, slash book and you'll get a bunch of uh, PDFs too in fact just by filling out all your information name email uh, to get quantlabs.net slash book so a couple of things I want to show you here and this is uh, efinancialcareers.com out of the UK um, there seems to be <clears throat> all the quant moves are taking place in London just as an example, everyone might complain and whine and bitch about uh, Brexit. If you go on to the job market uh, right now and look at either New York, Chicago, Zurich, even here in poor Toronto, um, what you'll find is probably easily the number one market for computer uh, for IT related jobs, specifically in finance. I'd easily put in um, in uh, is, is London UK I'll show you that in a minute but here we have um, UBS the London operation has hired this is the QIS quantitative investment strategies structuring a division they took this guy Spiros Mesomeris who's um, got a team and he figured out this is uh, 2018 quant research team of the year where they did a, uh, a study saying that you can uh, predict stock prices and construct a database based upon ETF flows and how it affects stock uh, pricing. I could have told you that two years ago. Um, that was a no-brainer. If you just watched and read every day the Bloomberg News app, you, you would have been a year ahead of that. So um, also the UBS is... Uh, uh, been hiring some other folks as well, but at the end of the day, what I want to take want you to take away here, really important, is uh, this comment right here. Banks are building quantitative investment teams as algorithmic trading becomes an increasing source of competitive edge or competitive advantage. Head of QIS of UBS Mesmeris will be overseeing quants to develop and execute quantitative investment strategies and trading algorithms blah 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 so um again that again can be found at ubs hired deutsche banks top quant okay so again if you are interested in this uh i talk about this you just go over to quantlabs.net slash book get yourself signed up i'll be splitting off my quantitative uh analytics stuff because we got a huge momentum now building with motive wave and, and I haven't even shown the capabilities what will be coming out of motive wave um, and the ability to export and post uh, my research or my even my desktop environment for motive wave and deploy it onto my elite or into my whatever section I go with and you'll be able to copy and have the exact same environment in your own motive wave and that's the exciting part about this and then the elite will become more of a programming section because there is a massive distinction between traders and then there's traders who want to program but can't figure out can't cross that finish line in getting into into programming I mean it's a necessity but if you can't do it I'm gonna put a focus on the uh, quantitative analytics section um, with the leverage leveraging of motor wave it's very powerful um next up uh i'll be working on the elite which will be more of the programming as well so the elite will not have the analytics anymore it'll be its own spun out section i guess and that's coming up probably the next day or so so keep your eyes out on that announcement which you'll get through this quantlabs.net slash book so let's continue the job searching with uh, good old um, 
good old uh, search search uh, engines or aggregate for computer jobs. Let me do a search on London HFT programming. I'll just say uh, jobs. And I want to show you some of the conditions I'm not seeing in over a decade. Um, let's see here. Uh, okay, so there's this HFT org. Let's see what they're paying for these type of jobs. Um, now, if there are jobs out there and you're highly um, accomplished, I don't think a candidate will even give a crap about the salary. If the, if the salary is not posted, I think a high level HFT developer won't even consider going to a recruiter, consider going to a firm if they don't list the salary. Like it's a, it's a, it's pointless because it's another way of saying I can't afford and I can't stay competitive to pay the, the right, correct rates. Uh, let me go to DuckDuckGo. Okay, let's go to DuckDuckGo. I, this is where I found. So let's say we're looking for quant jobs. Okay, and see what sites come up. So Indeed, pretty well, is the number one. But I'm going to show you some of the job um, listings here. Um, and uh, we'll, I'll show you some of the, the conditions. So yeah, this is what I'm speaking of, of 54,000 pounds a year. And you think, well, that's like this, this is insulting if you ask me, like, why, why are you paying um, an entry level position for like pretty, pretty paltry for uh, London. But here, if I go to 65,000 plus, um, I will expect to see some very high um, paying jobs. Um, so you have 72,000. And that's just as a junior researcher. That's, that's pretty good. Um, here, now we're starting to get into something a little more. Uh, and that's a, a Vesco quantitative research uh, analyst. Python, it's out of FinTech, 80,000 a year. So we're starting to see some better uh, conditions. So if I go into this one, let's see what it's about. A couple of jobs conditions I've not I've seen, um, which again Brexit's it's working for those looking for jobs in London um, that are not anywhere else, and it's all because of Brexit. And the reason is because Brexit is I guess these companies are, are preparing for the notion that uh, immigration in the London is going to get tougher uh, and harder to get qualified people in England. And um, uh, that don't have their education, let's say, in England. I'm born British, so I qualify. So this works to my advantage. Here, uh, we have some jobs here at 70, 80,000. First thing I want, I want to look for is what are they paying or what, what sort of education are, are they needing? So here, they want you to be educated in quant, finance, math, or computer science. So... There is that requirement, but one thing that you will notice here for this type of job, they don't require you to have a master's or a PhD. I don't know what the candidate pool will be like for London, I can't say, but if it's very limited on the educational front, uh, where maybe let's say older people apply for these type of jobs, like myself, um, it gives a better opportunity. So, you know, Pandas, NumPy, MATLAB, R, that's all that's needed. It's obviously SQL. Um, not seeing any form of machine learning here is needed. Or I'm sure there's some listings here that they are looking for, but they don't publicize it. So maybe they are looking for PhDs and give preference to PhDs or masters for the kind of school you're at. So those are the sort of things. And the other thing I like about uh, this is um, not sure if this is a review of uh, this company, but there is more of that uh, on the recruiter, which is good because it brings back some control for for uh, candidates when they're applying for jobs. So here, Calypso um, is a heavily sought after software. Um, so here you can see they want you to have PhD um, as well, but there were some really good jobs here that were listed um, in um, 
you know, 100,000. Now, I don't understand, like, a lot of Wall Street's now, what I heard last week is that Wall Street's looking at moving into sports betting. So, again, PhD, MSC uh, is needed. So there is some of these jobs. But there were quite a few I didn't see where um, they were looking for, um, you know, PhDs or mathematicians. But here's another one, 90,000. Uh, some of the jobs I did see were paying up to 150,000. Master's or PhD graduate. So the job conditions are pretty good for uh, London. Here's another one. And these are the sort of, if I was a top pick, this is what I'd be looking for, the jobs. Um, let's see if they look for a PhD. Yeah, so they are looking for PhDs and masters as well in math, physics, engineering. Okay, so let me just see if there's anything else out there. Uh, okay, so you can see that there are some jobs that are paying pretty good in London. I would not be really interested in this because um, they own you. They own you for a while. You pay a lot of tax. It's not worth it if you want my opinion. So let's see what's in New York. See if we have the same kind of thing where we do see salaries listed. So 115,000 starting at pretending to be a PhD. Looking for anyone that lists uh, salaries in the heading here. I really like this rating 3.9 for, for the employer. That's that's pretty good. Um, so here's one, 140,000 planner advisor. I don't think that's anything to do with, but you see, it's not as blatant as the London jobs, uh, where they list those, uh, rates. Here's one marketing and business intelligence. I don't know what that's going to do. Um, this is a quantitative anal analyst. One other thing I noticed is quantitative analysts spreading into other industries. It's just the techniques of quants being applied to other industries but we're looking for banks banks hedge funds maybe some private equities boutiques here's 160,000 lead data scientist let's see what these guys want so these guys know they're paying top dollar uh, cutting edge startup machine learning 160 masters of bachelor so masters is what you need and there you go, it's a marketing, TV, advertising, data. But the bunny's there. Liquidity analyst, urgently hiring. But you're not seeing the uh, salaries like they used to. Let me see if we can find a, 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 a computer-related... Sorry, a, uh, a uh, banking. There you go, Sigma. So let's see, lead data scientist. Let's see what Sigma pays. This is two Sigma. <coughs> Funny enough, no mention of salary. The reviews, uh, three and a bit. You got to like that. That's really good to have. So here we go. Here's all the reviews. Four, five, three, two. Some of these people that gives probably two have probably been fired by the company. But I know personally uh, some people that have gone through a firing process that would be deemed unfair uh, for a variety of reasons. But again, coming back to my original point, there are very few um, high-paying jobs that are listed with the salaries because that shows you that there's a huge supply of candidates out there that uh, they could be pretty, you know, hold back the salary. You won't know until you actually get hired. Um, and there might be some public, publicized uh, offers on the pay um, out there. So let's look at another one. Chicago's another big financial center. Let's see what they pay. Um... Chicago, uh, what was it, uh, Quant, 
jobs, see what they pay. Um, but it comes back to what I said before, uh, when it comes to jobs, um, yeah, there's not a lot of, hang on, yeah, let me go to the highest paying, 105000 it's ridiculously low, um, back to the day, you could be getting $500,000 and they get listed, even up to over, well over half a million, I remember back in the day, um, I don't think these sites exist anymore, here you go, here's a big data engineer, 150000 Starting at seventy thousand, it's huge, wide variety. But at least they list it. But yeah, you, you cannot find a lot of good-paying jobs in the U.S. They sort of exist in London, but the problem is, is that in London, um, here's one: AVP Synchrony Bank. Let's see what they have. One hundred fifty. It's not. It's nowhere close to where it was. It's just because more schools are putting out so-called quants. Uh, there's just a bigger supply of, of candidates. So, um, you know, the jobs aren't there like they used. To. Here's one: strategy leader, or whatever that means. I don't even think that'd be quant related. But uh, it's not as many as you get in London. I checked Zurich. I've checked Toronto. Um, maybe Singapore's got, but I don't think they pay that well. I could, I could check, uh, Singapore and I know I'm not going to bother with, uh, Hong Kong because of the problems there. Um, said C recruits, glass door, analyst jobs, quant jobs. Here we go. And, uh, glass door. I don't, I don't think. Seems like a lot of jobs, but what do they pay? Let me just see. Hedge fund quant analyst. 180K a year. Now, I'm going to assume that's Singapore dollars. So, oh, 180,000. That's pretty good, actually. See, here, here, here's what you need. Math Olympic participant. Probably looking for winners. Uh, Bitcoin, crypto. PhD level. But that, that's pretty good money. That's the highest I've seen. So maybe I could be wrong. You see anything that lists 180? That's pretty good money. Um, One sixty. So that's not bad. Uh, let's see what we got here. Singapore might be worth looking at as well. There's quite a few actually. So the U.S. just I don't seem to be as well paying. Um, Singapore is looking pretty good. Not 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 as good as London, that's for sure. Um, so there's that, but uh, I'll leave it there. But hopefully you get the idea. But if I was if I was in the market, I'd be looking at London because of uh, the Brexit. On that, hopefully I'll help you out. We shall talk to you later. Thanks for watching.